So now that we've created the universal selector, there's a couple of things we need to do. Well, in creating a very simple layout like the one I'm describing, a simple two-column layout, you'll notice in most popular websites, for example, if I you know, just go to a browser, and here's the Apple Store, and you can see that what's going on in here is the simple fact that this particular browser is showcasing a 1024 design. Well, there are many different ways of creating websites. Some of them are what we refer to as fixed pixel. Some of them are what we refer to as a liquid based design. Well, this fixed pixel based design here is set to be a specific width. And this width will automatically fit, as you can see here, inside of a 1024 screen resolution. My screen is set to 1024 resolution. You more than likely have a much larger screen resolution than I do. And if that's the case, what are you going to be seeing? Well, let's take a look. I'm going to go to my preferences, and it's the only time I'm going to change the display here. And let's see if this actually will work. If I were to set it to a much higher screen resolution, see right now I'm at 1024 because of the taping purposes here. And if I were to set it to something larger like this one, now it's only going to be temporary. We're going to come back to this in just a second. So let's take a look. As you can see, I've got much more real estate on my screen. And what it's showing me now is if I make my browser window full screen, as you can see here, well, what happens is the website is fixed right in the middle of the page. And when I move the size of the browser, what happens to it? It always remains in the center of that browser. Notice that anything, the extra space that you have here is just being displayed by the body color on Apple's clean website, which generally wants to showcase you know, a very clean design, they've got it all in white. But you've probably seen websites that look like this that have like you know other background colors or background images going on here. Things that we'll explore a little bit later on in other videos as well. So this is showing you what we're trying to achieve. And as you can see, regardless of the size of the browser, the website, which is fixed pixel, right? It's always a certain amount. It never stretches larger than what it is right now. That fixed pixel design always remains in the center regardless of the size of the browser. So that's what we're attempting to do. So I'm going to go back to my system preferences. We're going to set this back to 1024. And now hopefully this will show up quite nicely. And as you can see here I'm going to have to make this maximum again. And notice, well, when you've got that happening, it fits perfectly in a 1024 scenario. So that's exactly what we're attempting to do in our own designs here. So what we can see in this very simple design is that we're going to need something to always be in the center of our work. So what I'm going to show you now is a kind of an older, antiquated way of doing this. It's something that is specifically related to older versions of Internet Explorer, IE6, for example. We, and the method we're going to be using a little later on to center our website, is only going to work in more modern browsers. So this is specifically for an older browser. But I do have to admit, at this point in time, there's probably only like 7% of people that this really will be affecting. So don't worry about it if you don't add it in, and especially in a year from now or so, this might not be as big of a deal. So I'm just going to come in and we're going to start by setting the tag for the body. And what are we going to do? Nothing else except, oh, actually, let me cancel that. What did I do? Check it out. Look in my head section of my document. I actually added something internally. That's terrible. Why did that happen? Well, let's make sure. Here's my cursor in my design view. If I come in here and I say tag to redefine the body, fine. But look, it says this document only. No, Dreamweaver. Style.css. That's the external style sheet I created. Good. So now I'm going to go to block and we're just going to set the text align to center. Why? Because everything now on my page is going to be center aligned. As you can see, if I were to type out some text or something like this and refresh it, it would be center aligned. If I just preview this in the browser, and we can take a look real quick. Aha! There is my center aligned object, always in the center of my text. Okay, so I'm just going to quick that quickly. 
And let me get this back to my full screen here. I'll just say maximum. So now you can see it's fitting into the area. Always centered. Okay, let's get rid of that. So that's going to center all the content on our page, including the website. But you might be thinking, hey, I don't want my text to be centered. That's kind of gross. Don't worry. When we come back, we're going to take care of that as well.